All right, we're on to bonus moves. These are the advanced moves for advanced players, but even if you're in fifth grade and you're just starting on your basketball journey, you can still add these in once you have a feel for the game, once you can do a lot of these other things, because they're just fun. And you never know when you're gonna need a floater or some crazy reverse or some sort of thing to get by a big person or a small person, whatever the case may be. So we're gonna start with floaters, all right? Now the key is here, the idea is that you're shooting over someone taller or bigger than you while still sort of on the run. You don't shoot a floater typically from right here because now you're already in layup territory. You gotta take it strong. Usually you shoot a floater from somewhere around the white line to about a step uh, behind it, something like that. When you shoot a floater, you sort of elevate and you kind of shoot it like a layup, but you gotta shoot it up and over the defender. All right, so when you do it, you're always driving from the outside, right? So mix up the angle from where you start. Let go here, one dribble, floater, there you go. Oh! All right, you have a nice soft touch. There we go. Floater. And you kind of take off, uh, hey, there we go. You take off off the one foot, and you kind of elevate, and then boom, it's all wrist from right here. So shoot it high. now. You want to go for the really bonus move that you'll never use except for screwing around in practice. Go for the extreme floater. Come in here. Go for the height. Get in there. Off the bounce? No. That's why it's a bonus move. You're not going to use it unless you come up against like Thanos or something. And then here you go. Extreme floater. Get in there. Oh! Avengers assemble. Have your step back jumper game going pretty well and you're shooting fade away you're shooting step backs and stuff like that so then the defense adjusts right and they're like oh i'm gonna time this next one up gonna get the block this is when you use the step back up and under okay so you come in here you get the defense moving vertically step back plant your feet like that get that shot fake going like this here they come then you pivot underneath it and then you can roll it up okay so it's a step back up and under so here you come in shot. Step back first. Both feet have to hit at the same time so that you can use either one for a pivot foot. So when they fly at you, protect the ball, step through, jump off both, finish. Step back up and under. All right, if you've got enough hang time, you can sort of hang in the air. And sometimes if the defense comes flying in from the block, but they're like coming from this angle and they just want to spike it, right? You can go reverse. But if you jump from this side of the rim, see where the rim is? You've got to go up. Bring it down and then go spin on this side. It's just like Michael Jordan, just like how you see Maya Moore. I've seen Waylon do this a ton, right? And so you don't need to be the most athletic person. You just need to time it up and get that spin. So here you go. Shot for two. Bring it down. Spin it in. So you're going baseline. Jump from this side of the rim. Get that spin going, all right? And if you do it from this side, from this angle, here we go. You might bring it down and bring it over the head. If you don't have that left hand, work on all those pump fake, spin, reverses. All right, before you get too judgmental, I will say this. I have used this in a game many times, but you have to be sneaky. You can't just be like, ah, here's what I'm going to do and tell catch, because then, boom, people are going to send it in the stands. But, Sometimes you get an offensive rebound right here, and you're like, oh, I'm stuck, right? And you're looking for someone to pass to. Maybe you jump stopped in the lane. You've got no passers. But you notice by looking at that hoop over there, hey, I'm like right line with the rim here. Just take a quick glance back, whoop, pop it right back in there, all right? So you can work on that. So you can just start by just going right here. And sometimes when you get really good at it, you don't even have to look at where the rim is behind you. You can look at the rim on the opposite side. Oh, from an angle, right? Throw it in from there. I got the offensive rebound right here. And if you just kind of look around, give little pass fakes like this before, the defense is oftentimes relaxing then because they're like, oh, they're stuck. I don't have to do anything. And then, boom, you flip it up over your head. The other coach freaks out. 
I have all sorts of confidence in you, so I'm like, yeah, celebration, and it's great. Okay, sometimes you need to shoot over someone on the move, or like, that's way taller than you or something. You need that fadeaway jumper, right? So when you do the fadeaway jumper, to work on it, you can start from in the post, like this, and then go jump stop footwork like that, or you can work on it sort of dribbling at them like this. So when you dribble at them, step back, and fadeaway jumper, right? Now when you shoot the fadeaway jumper, because you're going backwards, you have to shoot it quicker with the wrist. The longer you wait and then release, oh, it's gonna be tough to get it there. So you have to speed everything up a little bit, and it's all wrist, it's gotta be all wrist. So, bring them down, jump back, get that fadeaway going. Oh, I'm gonna go to this side now. Here we go, get the defense moving. Fadeaway jumper, oh, I missed that one. But you can shoot it going straight back, or even better, with a slight fade to the right or to the left. And again, if you work on this stuff in the summer, it is fancy, it's a tough shot, but if you get the feel for it, it could be almost unstoppable, and you can do it. Okay, one time in sixth grade, I made this shot. They shouldn't have counted it, but you know, technically it's out of bounds, but it's a good horse finishing move. Over the backboard and swish, it's a good way to work on your arc on your shot, just fling it up there with the wrist, because if you go too far, Got no shot, you gotta go up and over. Oh! You're short. Did not look good. Yep! Hey! There we go. So, over the backboard, swish it, and again, this is a horse finishing move, you just gotta get good at it. Okay, so you gotta expand your range, right? So, a lot of us, we shoot threes from like right here, but a toe on the line is about the most frustrating thing in the world, right? When you make it, then they call two. So you gotta shoot from back a little bit, but let's push, let's expand your range a little bit. I want you to go one, two, about two steps back, all right? And if you see us shooting or playing on a college floor, a lot of times their three-point line is about here, and then we're like, oh, we're shooting from way back here because we get confused where the line is, but hey, you're shooting, so you gotta make it, right? Uh, and sometimes in a late game situation, this is as close as you can get before the defense like double teams or something, so you gotta maybe, shoot from back further to expand your range. So when you do, you've got to go faster with your wrist. You've got to have a quicker release on your wrist and go for a little bit more arc, all right? So when you step into these, you've got to go a little bit faster, all right? And it's all, all of your power comes from your leg. And a quicker wrist release, okay? So if you shoot from two steps back for a while and make some of those shots, that's good, it kind of warms you up for it. Then your ultimate goal is if you can maintain your form to a certain extent and make them from the white line, then you're gonna be in Steph Curry range, and that's great because you never know, right? So you can dribble in, and you gotta go faster. You gotta go faster from there. But if you can do it, that really helps you to push your range. Oh, and I can't do it. I gotta, ooh, I gotta get in the gym, right? So can you make it from two steps back? Keep expanding your range, work to maintain your form. Eventually, you'll get strong enough with your wrist and fast enough that you'll be able to do it. Bonus move is for when you're going at somebody, but they physical you up, they bump you, they cut you off, want you to spin into it, but then you're gonna uh, go right into your fade away jumper, or at the very least, sort of a pull up jumper. So it doesn't look that great standing still, I have to do it at speed. So you come in here, spin away, into your face, right? If you can bank this one, it'll be more accurate. Okay? So you're coming at them, spin, and shoot that little jump. And you can do it from different spots. Spin. And technically, you have those two steps, right? Just gotta jump off two. So when you spin, one, two, jump. Just like that. Spin into the fadeaway jumper. Okay, so I just went through some of those bonus moves. These are more advanced moves for sure. For sure, your body has to be more physical and more advanced and stuff like that to be able to do them. But if you start now and you work hard in the summer and you add these things in the game when someone cuts you off and it's weird or it's janky or something like that, you still have a shot at making that shot, right? And so this is where you add that kind of stuff to your games in the summer. And you always wanna be really good at the basics, at going full speed, 
with the things I've shown you on previous uh, videos. But once you get those down, you get a feel for it, start adding these extra bonus moves and you're gonna be ascending the ladder of greatness in Maconia basketball history. I'm gonna wait this month to talk to the other side of this court. All right, let's see it, bud. Whoa! Whoa! Charlie, that was crazy! All right, one, two, three, go. Whoa! Super sprint. <laughs> Couple of fast wildcats. Go, 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 Woo! go. Finish strong, finish strong. Let's go. Oh, a little fancy action there. Whoa. 